Greetings and salutations, my good friends. This is, of course, your host, Lightliger here, and today I have the great pleasure of doing tutorial slash review on Dexter Exchange, which is the very first AMM protocol on Tezos blockchain, a decentralized exchange just like Uniswap. And like in my other AMM videos on the channel, I will be showing you how to connect to the dApp how to trade and also how to provide liquidity and also how to remove it. And Dexter is created by Camel Case, which also, by the way, have their own mobile wallet called Magma Wallet, which will be soon integrating the Dexter support. So you'll be able to access the Dexter exchange on your mobile device as well. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the actual desktop version and what exactly can be connected into that. So the first option you have is Beacon Wallet. Um, this is created by Airgap. This is basically uh, available on Chrome as of right now. And basically it's made to use to connect dApps with wallets. Your second option is Tezos Bridge, which to my understanding allows you to connect through your Nano Ledger, allows you to import private keys or even create keys in case you want to. This is a bit more for tech savvy people, uh, although, so if you're kind of beginner, definitely not the way to go. And your third option, which we're gonna be using in this video is called Thanos Wallet, which is by far probably the best and simple, uh, easiest version to go with. And also has a baking feature, which means staking, which probably I will be doing a future video on, on the channel. Now, Thanos World will be available on Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Brave, and also in the future is going to be on Oprah, Microsoft Edge, Yandex, and Vivaldi. By the way, I also use all of these browsers on this list, by the way, outside from Edge, which is sadly kind of uninstalled from your computer because, hey, it's a Microsoft product. But it's very nice to see that there are more blockchain projects supporting different browsers. Opera has been pretty pro crypto, which is, in my opinion, a sign that there are more extensions should be built on top of it. But uh, we're going to be using the Chrome version uh, in this video, which is obviously the best of, I guess. And basically, you have a couple of options here. So once you create the wallet for the first time, you can uh, create a new seed phrase or import an old one. I created a new one just for the testing purposes, but after you have done that, you do have the option to import accounts. So you can import a private key or a monomic phrase or even a fundraiser. I'm not sure what exactly that is. Um, but basically, if you are using Exodus, you're using Atomic Wallet or maybe even, no, Trust Wallet doesn't give you private keys. But a couple of these two options and you can import the private key from those wallets as I have done into this field and access my Atomic Wallet into the actual dApp through that. So that is a very nice feature that is actually available on Thanos. So you don't just need to uh, move all of your things um, to a one address to another. And also this, by the way, shows you staking um, thing, which is very nifty. And all the transactions are here neatly in detail and showing you all the costs and etc. But now, obviously, we're going to be connecting to the actual uh, Dexter exchange. Before we do that, I do want to say that this has been audited on one of its earlier versions, 0.87 something. And basically, the uh, current version is one point something. So there is an actual audit done for the project, which is good. It was back in June. Obviously, there has been probably some changes on it and fixes, but I think it's pretty safe to um, use. Um, going back into the Dexter Exchange, now we're going to be connecting in to the actual wallet. And here we can have the three options we talked about. And um, by the way, you cannot have on the same browser Thanos and the Beacon extension. So if you're going to be wanting to have both, install Thanos into one browser and the other one into another. So maybe you're going to be installing Thanos into Brave. And if you happen to use Chrome as well, install Beacon there. And now we're going to be connecting into Thanos um, through that. For the first time, there is going to be a small uh, pop-up coming out and it asks you to accept basically in order to connect. 
one of the, my uh, first criticisms about on this exchange on my review is that even though I have activated my uh, imported account here on my wallet, I cannot actually connect it here on Dexter. So it's going to be automatically choosing uh, the initial seed phrase. And that's kind of sad. Um, there is also a ledger option. I'm not sure will that help you um, to connect the right address. But because of this thing, or maybe I'm just inept on fixing the problem, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying the address we're going to be using for testing and I'm going to be moving funds from my atomic wallet into this one. And it actually allows you to just click from the or other accounts immediately. So this is very convenient and you can send any of these um, things that are uh, at the moment um, staked there. So, and by the way, I'm going to be adding a lot of um, exchanges here, which you can use um, for, you know, paying the fees on uh, so not, not paying the fees. What I mean, what I mean is that I'm sending you the links to the exchanges where you can buy Tezos. It's a very universally available token. So you can pretty much get it anywhere. So I'm going to be sending um, basically 0 0.5 Tezos just for testing. And here you can, by the way, customize the actual speed because I'm doing a video, I'm going to be using the fastest rocket uh, speed. And it's usually around like one cent uh, of a cost, pretty you know cheap compared to Ethereum, for example. And this is probably one of the reasons why um, I'm very excited about the DeFi future in general because we're going to be seeing so many um, projects coming out on these other chains and it's going to be very affordable to trade on those platforms versus Ethereum. And now we have basically sent out the actual um, funds for the Thanos testing account. We're going to be waiting for a couple of seconds uh, until they're going to be arriving here. They're going to be appearing here on the balance. On other aspects, what you can do on the exchange, you can change night mode, which is probably a bit more clear. We're going to be staying with that. You can also change into multiple of different currencies here. If you want to US dollar, Euro, British pound, Japanese yen, rubles, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Um, there's all major currencies here, even gold and silver listed. So in case you want to be, you know, um, on understanding what is actual balance, then it's good. Um, and then I do want to say that the cost of doing transactions on the blockchain is 0.3% on every trade, which is a pretty normal standard fee on a lot of these uh, protocols. It's not too high, especially because the fees are actually too low. And by the way, there's not really a lot of tokens right now ex listed on the actual exchange due to the fact that there is an actual vetting process that goes into getting your token listed on Dexter Exchange. That can be seen as negative or positive. I know there's another AMM coming out soon on Tezos and maybe they will have an open listing. This one will have a bit more audited one. And I'm for both because there's so many scams happening on Ethereum and Tron in terms of like people listing uh, fake and imposter type of uh, contracts which look the same, etc. So that is a bit of a problem. And maybe this sort of a vetting process is a bit better way to go. And you don't obviously want to have contracts which have loopholes or parts in the contract which are essentially like minting or flash minting, which is um, mentioned here. But let's get back into the actual exchange. I'm going to be refreshing here. Okay, I didn't need to do that. Um, now we're going to be connecting again. And now we have 0 0.5 Tezos. Now let's say I want to buy USDT or I want to buy Bitcoin. And Bitcoin is very expensive right now, so I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm going to be buying half of my funds, or actually I'm going to be 0 0.15 Tezos used to buy 30 cents of US dollar. On the advanced options, we can change the slippage. This means how much of the price slippage there will be between the transfer. More liquidity is in the pool means that you're going to be a lower slippage on the process. And sometimes you need to increase the slippage higher. Uh, depends. Default is 0 0.5. With a lot of these healthy pairs, that's probably the thing you're going to be doing. Uh, the transaction timeout, if it has been not game completed, um, then, you know, if you're going to be changing something, I'm going to be putting it five. Also, you have the option to send it into your other address. So if I want to send it to my Atomic Wallet, which we imported earlier, 
end into my thing, I can do that. So I can just copy the address from here if I so desire, but I'm not going to be doing that this time. So we're going to be exchanging now and here it says 0 0.3 fee and the price slippage limit of 0 0.5. And I'm going to be exchanging, a pop-up will come out and here we can choose to reject it, the account that is in use and also the confirm and the other tax, tax fee. I'm going to be confirming it. And now the transaction is taking place on the blockchain and it will tell us when it's actually happening. One of the cool things is that it's showing the recent transactions. You can click this and it would go into the actual Tezos Explorer, which will tell you uh, what is happening. Obviously, when you click it immediately, it's not going to be appearing on the actual blockchain, FYI. And then you can also see here uh, the pool tokens that you have provided into the liquidity which we're going to be talking about in a second once this actual uh, confirmation goes through. And now that I have reopened my browser, the transaction has gone through in the meanwhile. And on the side, we can see my token balances, a half XTZ and also 32 cents of USDTZ. And you can see your recent transactions here as well. And also on the tab, you can see pool tokens, which are going to be appearing there in a second once we're going to be providing liquidity into the actual pool. And what you have to understand that they have to be, when you're providing two tokens in, both of them have to be an equal in price. So let's say we're going to be providing Tezos and the Tezos Bitcoin. They have to be both in the same value. So $10 worth of this and $10 worth of this. So make sure of you understand that. And then there's the problem, obviously, in permanent loss. When the price are fluctuating too much, you might be losing some of your funds. And so study on impermanent loss, know what you're getting into. Um, and we're going to be providing all of my USDTZ here. And there's actually a 0 0.3 Tezos fee attached into uh, like a network fee of sorts. And as I earlier alluded, there's going to be also um, the gas fee top of that. So make sure you have because if you're going to be adding too much and you don't have enough there to cover the cost of gas, you, you need to save somebody some for it. So we're going to be adding liquidity. And here on the also on the side for that to mention, you can see what is your share of the pool since we're giving such a minuscule amount uh, of, of the actual pool. If we put a dollar uh, in or maybe ten dollars, we would have 0.01 percent, which is actually not too bad. So the liquidity pools amount in percentages is also important in terms of your earnings you will be making from the actual trades. Now we're going to be confirming this transaction and now it's going to be moving that Tezos and USDTC into the actual pool. And here on the pool data, so you can also see what are actually the amounts that have been pulled in to the, to, uh, to the pools and amount of tokens, amount of XTZ and TZBTC and contract baker. And here you can also swap um, these things in case you want to. And basically also here you can add and remove the liquidity. So once this actually goes through, there will be a minus button uh, here on the basically removing. And here a plus button, we can add more obviously uh, right now, the all the sum is already going in. And as I said, it takes around one or two minutes to actually get confirmed. Overall, I would say the Dexter interface and everything is pretty easy to use. The problem that I talked about earlier about imported wallets seems to be an issue here. Obviously, it needs mobile support. And even though we have the pool data, there's not actual website that keeps track on how much rewards you are getting for your pairings that you have provided liquidity for, uh, which is something that, for example, um, you know, uh, Uniswap actually provided. And here, here we can also, the recent transactions now, we have added things to the pool and the pool tokens are here right now. And in case I want to remove all my funds from the pool, I just click this remove button and I put the max amount if I want to remove all. This is the amount of shares, not the amount of XTZ and USDTC. And then we're going to be basically redeeming them. You are required to have 0 0.3 XTZ in needed to cover the network fees for this operation. So I'm not currently able to do that. And thanks for watching this uh, 
a bit of a long review and a guide. Obviously, Baking Bad did a very good tutorial himself on his channel, a bit more um, faster and, you know, on to the chase. This is more about a bit of a review on this side and looking on some of the other aspects. And Dexter definitely can survive, but it will be interesting to see if there's going to be another AMM, which one will come on top. If, if there's going to be a vetting for other one and no vetting for the other. And also what kind of a tokens are going to be rising and coming into the market of Tezos and operating in the space and we will see what will happen. But thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. In case you want to support my work here, you can send some Tezos to me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.